Today we're going to have a look at an odd issue that I had with Text Mesh Pro in one of my current projects. What was happening, they were pasting in data and when you tried to edit it, the text was overlapping. And I thought I'd just make a quick tutorial on how I fixed this in case anybody else comes over the same problem. So first of all, I'll demonstrate the problem and how, you, how it can occur. So let's add a Text Mesh Pro input field. And just import. I'm going to set my camera background to black. I'm going to make my canvas green space camera and use the main camera. I'm going to grab that input field. I'm going to make it nice and big. At the moment the text is a bit too small for everybody to read so let's make that a bit bigger and delete the text and now i'm just gonna hit play i'm gonna copy this text that i have in notepad I'll just drag that back off the screen. I'm going to paste it. And now if I go to the beginning of this line and delete, you can see that I've ended up getting in this position where I have overlapping text. This is caused by the carriage return actually having two characters, a line feed and the start of the line, and Text Mesh Pro having individual characters for each of those. This is actually intended and apparently is useful for some people. However, it wasn't useful for my project. It can also ha happen when you read in a text file and put it into an input field that you can edit like this. So I will show you how to fix this. Let's just make a scripts folder. I'm just going to call it fix text. There's my scripts folder and my script. I'm just going to put it in there. And let's double click to open it in Visual Studio. Now, because we're using Text Mesh Pro, we need to import the library. We'll need a reference to our input field. We're not going to need our start function. We're not even going to need our update function. And I'm just going to make a public function called remove R. Now we just need to remove the forward slash R out of any input. So all we're doing here is looking for this forward slash r character and wherever we find it we're just going to re basically remove the character so let's save this and go back to unity so let's drop this script onto our input field and drop our input field into the slot so what we're going to do is on value changed we're going to call a function and we're going to call the fix text remove R. Now let's play and give it a go and see if the same thing happened. So now when I delete, you can see it works the way that you would expect. As I mentioned, this can happen in other ways. This is the way that it happened for me, but I'm aware it can also happen if you, for example, read in a text file or a CSV file and try to manipulate it in a similar way. 
So hopefully this helps somebody if you come across the same problem. I just thought I would make a tutorial in case somebody else is banging their head on the wall trying to figure out what's happening. If this was useful, please feel free to like, subscribe or comment. It's all really appreciated. Hope you enjoy your game development.